Ashwin asked how we were able to do finite element analysis on a pipe with some support to see if we had enough support in the pipe model or in the AutoCAD plant model uh, to support the weight of the pipe. Um, and that's not including any fluid running through it. So those, those forces, we, we didn't do literature for those forces. So what we can do is once we've created the, the component in AutoCAD plant, we can then go and take it out into Inventor and, and then um, export it out to AutoCAD, take it into Inventor, and then do the finite element analysis. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to go and to my 3D pipe in this case. So I've got access to the, the, pipe, uh, the pipe command. Now with that, uh, let's do set inch, set inch pipe, and let's go read the pipe. So we're going to start from 0 to 0. Let's go do that again. Start at 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so let's uh, we'll make it that, so like that. So now what's going to happen with this pipe is I actually want to take it and put in some support. So with AutoCAD plant, you have the ability to create pipe support. Okay, so click on create pipe support. And you can either use an AutoCAD block uh, that you've already got sitting in your model. You can import the block from another DWG. Or you can create, or you can use one of these uh, supports over here. So with these supports, so with these supports here, you've got dummy legs and uh, general support, uh, shoes, anchors, and anchors, and guides. Uh, base support as well as hangers. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at uh, just a, a beam hanger over here, a beam clamp hanger. Okay, select OK, and then I'm going to say where do I want the support. So let's say over there and over here. Okay, so once that's done, um, let's save the drawing, and then what we need to do is we need to get it into Inventor. So the way to do that is we can type in export to AutoCAD. There we go. Select, hit enter, and then we can go and uh, save it over here. So I'm going to go and say F E A. Let's do my scanners. Go to structure, and that's it. So once that's done, um, I'm going to just say yes. I'm going to replace it. Um, now what I can do is I can go through to Inventor, and let's just see what's going on over here. So I'm going to go open, and I'm going to go browse to where that DWG is, and I'm going to go import it. So there's the DWG that I have selected. Just make sure that the option is to import the non-inventor DWG file and not just open. Once I've done that, I can click on open, and it will then convert that plant file into an AutoCAD file and from the AutoCAD file into an inventor file. So let's just go to the DWG file wizard over here. Once that's been read, just make sure that everything is where you need it to be. So there's my two hangers and there's my pipe. With that, select next. And then make sure that I want my 3D solids to come in. Okay. Uh, specify units, let's just make that millimeters. Actually, no, we'll keep it as inches because we want it to be the correct uh, length. And then just go to new part over here. Um, assembly template and keep as is, and then we can click on finish. And then we'll import that into our inventor. Once that's imported into our inventor assembly, we can just take a look at it and then start the work on that. So um, what we're going to do now is um, we would go and find out what the diameter of the, the pipe is and then just shell it out or uh, just do a quick extrude. So I'm just going to do any just extrusion over here, create a new sketch on the end and then just make sure that we've got there so there's an inner diameter and outer diameter. So this is just for you know sort of demonstration purposes. Obviously you'd go and find exactly what uh, the wall thickness for that would be and then you'd cut that out with the, with the correct um, the correct result. So once that's done We'll see over here that I've got my, my pipe and I've got my support. So with that, we can now go to our environment and we can go to our stress analysis. So with the stress analysis, we're going to have to go assign some materials. Um, but before that, let's create the study. So I'm just going to create, create study. It's going to be a static analysis. And I'm going to select OK. 
Now, with this over here, I'm going to go and assign some materials to it. Otherwise, the, um, it won't run because it's assigned as generic. So let's go and override the material. And let's do like the stainless steel over here. So let's go to stainless steel. And as well as over here. So we have got all our materials assigned. Once that's done, um, we are now going to go and just create some fixed constraints. So we know that the top of the hanger will be fixed. Okay, so we'll fix it over here so that can't move. So we don't want that to, to move over there. Now, because this is an assembly, um, we need to have some contact around here. So if we think about it, um, the outside of the pipe, let's just we're making some automatic contact, and I'm going to have it bonded. Okay. Now, with with that, let's see what contact we made. Okay, so it couldn't find anything touching each other. Okay, so we're going to have to do this automatically. Now, what I'm going to have to do here for the manual contact is that I want the outside of this pipe to be touching the inside of this um, of this bracket over here. Okay, so that over to there, as well as apply again for this on the inside of the bracket here. And for the other side as well. Okay, so we just know, make sure that there's contact over there so that it's not going to break apart. Last one. Okay. And there we go. Now, there's not, I'm not going to put any forces on here, but I do know that there is gravity that's going to be applied to this. So, for gravity, uh, we've got this little apple over here. So, that's gravity. And then we need to choose the direction. Now, if you look at the UCS at the bottom left hand corner, okay, it is going down in the Z direction. Um, I can use my vector components or I can select the direction. So if I go to my model, so you see I don't have my UCS over there, I could select the uh, cylindrical, well the, the hanger over here and it'll take the axis of the hanger. So it's going straight down over there and I select OK. So we've got gravity, we've got this pipe uh, that's being supported by these hangers and then let's go and mesh. So let's go to mesh. This will go create the mesh for all our components over here. Okay. And once the mesh has been created, we can go and simulate. So let's call it simulate. So it we can go run. If there are any errors, it will tell you. Okay, looks good. So it's completing the results. Let's see if these two supports are sufficient for this. Okay. So there's the stress, okay, so not a lot of stress on there. Let's now take a look at the displacement. Okay, so you see there's mostly displacement in the middle there, at least what we expect. But if you take a look at it, that displacement is only 0 0.43 millimeters max. Okay, so it is a slightly adjusted um, uh, sort of pipe display, but, you know, you can put on actual and you'll see exactly what it looks like. So it'll still highlight in red exactly where the most deformation is, but as you can see, that is 0 0.4 millimeters, so it's not a lot. Okay, so you can adjust it by half. Okay, and then you know, if you did want to put some more supports, you could use your normal um, assemble. Um, maybe you can put a pattern in there, or maybe a copy, and you can train it from one end, and then see if you could maybe get that to 0 0.2. You know, whatever your, your tolerance for that would be. Okay, so there you can see that. Is it good enough for you? Great. Then the AutoCAD plant model that you are creating over here. Uh, those hangers will be su sufficient for this uh, for this pipe over here. So there we go. So that's how you can take an AutoCAD plant model, export it out to an AutoCAD, and then bring it into Inventor and try out the FEA on that to see um, what the the supports will be doing and if that pipe will bend or if it needs another support. Thanks very much.